when it's happened to a, a child, uh, uh, you know, I'm uh, <laughs> goes bump and uh, it's terrible. It's really terrible. This is the spot where an eight-year-old boy lost his life recently in Montreal South Westboro. It's prompting Montrealers to question whether pedestrian safety measures are adequate enough in the city. Post-war city was being built, obviously was being built more with a car-oriented vision and a motorized vehicle-oriented vision. That was something we saw all over North America. But with that comes its dangers. With increased safety in mind, the city of Montreal is transforming a few hundred kilometers of city streets into biking and pedestrian-only arteries with the goal of eliminating deaths. Other traffic calming measures include reducing speed limits from 50 to 30 kilometers per hour near parks and school zones, creating more one-way streets, adding more speed bumps and installing pedestrian lights and countdown timers at all traffic lights. Over the weekend, city workers painted crosswalks onto the pavement near the site of the collision that killed the eight-year-old boy as he was crossing the street on his way home from day camp. The following day, 52-year-old cyclist died in hospital after being struck by a vehicle in Longueuil. He was crossing at a pedestrian crossway. Residents agree more needs to be done in the city to ensure safety. I think an emphasis should be definitely be put on be more alert. I cycle around Montreal a lot and generally I feel pretty safe but sometimes the road conditions can be a big problem. A lot of stuff going on in the city. So like taking away parking spots, like having construction like all over the city, like it just adds to like normal human behavior, like anxiety, like rushing to get to somewhere on time. From texting and talking on the phone to eating while driving, studies show distracted driving is a serious public health threat. Montreal adopted the Vision Zero campaign back in October 2019, pledging to reduce their number of road deaths and severe injuries to zero. What places like the Netherlands do, uh, or uh, much of Scandinavia, is they really apply safe systems. And broadly speaking, that means designing out the conflict. Uh, you make it so that it's actually people just aren't in each other's way. You can do that, as Mayor Plant is doing, through, uh, through better signalization at crossings, intersections. Uh, motorists feel shackled. They feel like they've been, they've been they're losing something. But in, in globally, we're making the city safer for all users, including motorists. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.